From empty lecture theatre to 3D print farm. 40 machines, soon to be 140, are hard at work making face shields for the front line in the battle to slow the spread of the coronavirus. At the moment we're making hundreds a day. We will this week be able to produce 5,000 a week. Um, next week we're hoping to make that more like 2,000 a day. These engineers usually create and design 3D printers for schools, but they've swung their considerable technical skills onto a more pressing need. With the schools being shut down, we've had quite a lot of stock left over. Um, so one of the things we're doing with it is bringing them out of storage and manufacturing some critical PPE uh, for our nurses and doctors. The team, led by the University of Wollongong, started working on a state-of-the-art design to meet health standards. We've been working closely with the Area Health Service to, de to define exactly what's needed. We've gone through a few iterations uh, on the face shield in order to ensure uh, that it can be used in practical situations. Doctors know the equipment will save lives. If we have one healthcare worker in Wollongong that's infected due to a lapse in PPE, that will be a, that will be a real disaster. Around the world we're seeing hospital workforces devastated by failing PPE supplies. So it's hoped this initiative provides local surety but also opens the door to increase ventilator capacity. So we're looking at things like uh, post end expiratory pressure uh, valves which are not super common uh, but have been used uh, quite frequently worldwide to try and improve patient outcomes once they've gotten onto a respirator. Australian know-how responding to a global challenge. Kelly Fuller, ABC News, Wollongong.